Hello there everybody, Steampunk Jelma here again with The Sinking City. Now things were a little weird when I loaded it up. For whatever reason it wasn't showing that I completed the previous mission for the fisherman. Until I actually went back and spoke to him again. Which the only thing that popped up was me saying bye to him. Before I like re-registered that I completed the mission so. A little weird, but anyways, we are now officially back onto the main campaign since we got our trusty Plague Doctor outfit. We can handle all the disease and filth of this city. And we are now investigating crimes. At 10.30 p.m. April 5th at the Fish Market Eastern Shells corner of Orchard and Holy Fire Lane, I apprehended a suspicious looking insmouth for as he was stalking a young woman. The suspect in this position had a peculiar golden amulet which resembled a fish eye, as well as a dagger. The suspect resisted arrest. When I tried to cover him, he cried out for help, screaming his brothers from the EOD. Several other armed Innsmouthers appeared from the fish market. I was forced to release said Innsmouther and retreat. The suspect got away. Okay. So I believe we have already been to that market. Because I said in the eastern shells. Let's go ahead and take, get rid of that. Yep, this is it. So, it won't take but a second to get back there, so I'll see you there. Right down this way. If I remember correctly, yes. Fish market. What are you selling, mister? I don't see any goods. I offer what everyone in this Borg needs most. Safety and comfort. You a newcomer? Where are you staying? The Devil's Reef Hotel. <laughs> oh, old Victor always thinks so small. A man of your talents could earn his board a hundred ways. Maybe you want some more spending money? And a job for a private eye, mister? I'm always up for a good side gig. Huh. That's what I like to hear. I'm Walter. I need someone capable to take care of an issue on my property. Local fauna, if you know what I mean. Real estate's a risky business. How'd you get into it? All my life I was a common fisk trader. But I wanted more. I dreamed of being a landlord. A man who never works. <laughs> so I scrimped and saved and bought several houses. Gonna rent them to the refugees and newcomers. And I have even greater plans. Let me guess. You need a gun for hire. Or is there another task? I need you to place these incense burners on the top floor of my properties to drive off the wild beasts. Take a photo for me as proof. Smoke that repels wild beasts. Does that even work? Of course it will. No doubt. I bought it from a friend I trust. Well, okay. Just give me the address. See you later. Okay, so we'll do that another time. We don't need that right now. Oh, this used to be an okay place to live. Titanic forces are at work, infinitely greater than ourselves. Unknowable. In are you a fishman or not? There will be sacrifice. There will be loss. There will be. Looks like his skills are those just slashes. But these are the hallmarks of a pivotal moment in time, and each of us has a part to play. <laughs> Interesting speech. You really think there's an upside to all this? Absolutely. The darker the day, the brighter we can all shine. And we will all shine again soon. All that's needed is faith. I am called Evernote Blackwood, and this is the place I have chosen to share my message. Please, come to one of my full servants. His eyes are not Charles even... Reed. Good to meet you. Blackwood. 
You're a member of the Grand Family. I am indeed the last of that line. Inheritor of an empty mansion and a severed history. I'll see you around. Okay, that's not the guy I was looking for. Take as much This as you is why we need it won't cost you fish? Penny. Fresh fish? Take as much as you need. It won't cost you a penny. Don't be shy. We have enough for everyone. I've heard that I can find an organization hereabouts that goes by the name of the EOD. Am I in the right place? You sure are. I happen to be a representative of the EOD. Pleased to meet you. My name's Anna. Can I help you with something? Uh, Charles Reed. Just a few questions, if I may. <laughs> of course. Ask away, Charlie. Excuse me? This city is short on everything except dirt, rain, and things that want to kill you. Yet, you just give away food for free. What's your angle? Angle? <laughs> There's no angle, Charlie. N not everyone can hide in fancy manners like the grand families. And our hearts tell us we must do more. We've decided to seize our own fate and rise above this disaster. I think it's going well. The sea is good to us, and it blesses us with abundance. What is the EOD? I mean, what, what do you do as an organization? Well, we are a non-profit, charitable organization. <laughs> Actually, it's better to say that we're a gathering of volunteers. We're not an official charity yet. As for what we do, we try to help ease the suffering in our city as much as we can. Oh. How do you do that? We provide fish for the hungry and fix the homes of the poor. We also patrol the streets at night to keep the wild beasts and bandits at bay. And many, many more things. Whatever needs doing. Anything to help the people, Charlie. <laughs> Don't call me Charlie. What does EOD stand for? Everyone's obvious duty. When we began, it also had is to help each other, but we dropped that part. It was a little bit wordy. It's been great chatting with you, but I'm actually here to speak with the EOD leadership. You know where I can find them? <laughs> Not so fast, Charlie. Nobody meets the top brass without being a member. You need to earn a rank in the EOD first. Oh, you're kidding me. What for? <laughs> you need to prove yourself. Show us through your actions that you're worth our it time. Sounds a lot like a cult. No offense, Charlie. <laughs> Just keep on a go for it. How can I join? That all depends on what skills you can offer us. What do you do best? Shoot and ask questions uh, later. Well, I'm afraid my resume's in my other jacket. Let me see. I was in the Navy during the war. Never since it ended, I've been a private eye. The sea provides. Turns out we have a job that's a perfect fit for you. Uh, you need me to sail somewhere? I have a boat. As much as I'd love to go sailing with you, I actually had something else in mind. Okay. Tell me more about this Yeah, I should have hit... Should... Well, Don't call me Charlie. Last night, someone tried to break into our fish storage room. Luckily, the guards scared him off, but I fear they'll be back to finish the job. That's why we've been busy today giving away all the fish to the people. We'd rather it get into the hands of the needy than to some thief. And you want me to find whoever this thief is, right? <laughs> You're smart, Charlie. I like it. Exactly. Fine. Count me in. Good. Thank you. Here's the address. Tell the guard the password. I serve the C, and he'll let you into the storeroom. Dang, I didn't get to say don't call me Charlie. Glad to see you again. Ugh. Ah, it was too nice. Alright, so be it. Okay, so in Western Shells... Between Warren Road and Liberty Road. Okay, uh, Hawkins. Okay, right here. Not too far from a teleport, so 
I'll see you when we get there. There's the man of the hour. You got business here. I serve the sea. Anna sent me here to investigate the recent break-in. <sighs> you see me praised. Finally. I'm Daryl. Daryl Grimes. How can I help you? Ugh, I hate that. The... <sighs> As he speaks. What's the deal with the, the password and such? Orders from the higher-ups. I don't get to ask why. Can you tell me what happened? Don't skimp on the details. <sighs> Not much to tell, sadly. It was a man, that much I know. He snuck in while I was upstairs. Tried to steal the fishies. But I heard him. Nearly got him with a harpoon by Kay, but I missed in the dark. He got away, that Dane. But I wonder, why steal what you can get for free? Yeah, that's a bit of a puzzler. What did this burglar look like? Same height as you. Not too big, not too small. Nothing to write home about. Average Joe. If not for his, uh, bald head. That guy was as bald as an egg. I could see the moonlight reflecting off the top of his head. And what did he steal? Nothing. I scared him off before he could. Where did he go after that? Don't know, pal. He was way faster than me. Alright. Well, that's enough for now, Mr. Grimes. I've gotta go to work. Here, take the key. May the sea bless you. Wild bees. No. No. I'll beat these wild beasts in submission. Oh, something's here. Oh yeah, so I think I remember. It's not that, but uh. It's something a little less, less than savory. Yeah. Uh, it's a BDSM chamber. I have questions. I wonder what's the logic of not being able to see that. I think they said in the episode some sort of magic. Like how did he actually make the wall disappear and whatnot? Well, I can't care anymore. Oh yeah, let's check real fast. Do I have any... I have one skill point. Um... Yeah, I guess I'll go for this. Just keep increasing my avatar strength. Thing's dead as a doornail, but I don't see any wounds. So first it ate the fish, and now it's dead. That's troubling. I don't like it's like a bug sticking out of it. Oh. That, that's also gross. Is there anything else up with the fish? No, it's just the same thing. Oh. Stand up, please. Let's go back upstairs. All's fresh, still smells of the sea. No signs of decomposition at all. I don't like those sounds. Wow. It pierced a good inch of solid wood like it was nothing. You got strong boy arms.
All right, let's check back upstairs. This guy must really be into his hobby to have such impressive tools. Nice work. When I was a kid, I would have gone nuts for this. Well, if it was finished, that is. Dear Mr. Grimes, we can't thank you enough for what you do for the children. In these dark times, toys go down like a t tall glass of water. We all pray for your good health every day. We, we also kindly remind you that we still await your visit. All our staff and, of course, the children are eager to finally meet our benefactor in person. So please don't hesitate and come as soon as you're able to turn on gratitude. Uh, it's probably afraid to show him since he's a fish man. The racism. But I do find it's interesting that they're using all the the racist elements that uh, Lovecraft was infamous for through the different race of you know Throgmorton being an ape, all the Innsmouthers of course being fish. Is there anything else? Alright, there's probably something more with the fish downstairs. Oh. That's a fancy looking bottle. And there's some kind of powder left on the bottom. I better not touch it. It could be dangerous. Thief, I'll show you not to mess with us. Just a little bit more. Oh, no. Probably gotta go upstairs. Yeah, man, he he launched that thing at him. Oh, wait, is there a fourth one? One I'm missing? I hope Professor Westerbrook never learns about this. Mm. Okay, let's see what we have here. One. Professor Westerbrook never learns about this. Just a little Two. bit more. See what we have here. Man broke into the oh. fish storage. Poison. Oh. Alright, guess if you want to see that, you can go back and uh, pause for it. Alright, let's uh, talk to our lad. You dig up anything interesting? I sure did. Turns out our friend here wasn't here to rob the place. He came to poison the fish. By the sea. Are you sure? That's what the evidence suggests, anyway. Okay, this is horrible. Please don't tell Anna it was my fault, or she'll have me quartered. Anna will quarter you. You're joking about that, right? Wish I was. Anna, she's ruthless when it comes to punishing the guilty, EOD member or not. That's unexpected. Huh. Don't worry, I won't tell her. You seem like a decent sort, Daryl. I'll, uh, I'll make something up. Thanks, Mr. Reed. Here's a little something to express my gratitude. Take care now. Still, I've done wrong and I deserve to be punished. I'll stay on guard duty for the next month without a day off. You have my word. All right, you, uh... You go ahead and do what you gotta do, I guess. Yeah, seems like a nice guy. 
I found a hidden room full of shackles and chains downstairs. Looks like some kind of torture chamber. No, no, no it's BDSM. It? Don't, don't kink shame. Stop talking, truck. That can't be true. I know this place top to bottom. Now, Daryl, you know I'm a detective. And if you're lying, I'm going to find out one way or another. I've got nothing to do with it, I swear, Mr. Reed. Go ask Anna. She's responsible for renting the place. I know nothing about this. Okay. I'll talk to Anna. We'll see if your story holds up. See ya. May the sea protect you. Okay. Alright, those aren't related. Need more clues. Bring um Eliminate that. Alright, we're gonna go back and talk to Anna some more, so I'll see him over there. Alright, here we go back to Anna. We gotta find about her BDSM easy. chamber. It won't cost you a penny. I've got news about your fish storage problem. Oh, I'm all ears, Charlie. Don't call it me only Charlie. Looked like a robbery. Some guy broke into the storage to poison the fish. Near as I can tell, he succeeded, at least partially. I realize it's a lot to take on faith. Look, I've got a sample of what I think is the poison. Though I can't identify it yet. <sighs> See, protect us. That's terrible. Wh what kind of man would do such a thing, and why? I don't know. But I aim to find out. We need to stop distributing the fish. We have to let everyone know about this. Kay knows how many people might already be affected. What do you want me to do with the poisoner once I find him? I'd bring an end to him right there if I were you. The police and court are useless these days. That wasn't the deal. I'm a detective, not a hitman. Fair enough. Fair enough. Report to me when you find him. I'll see that the reward will be more than handsome. If you know what I mean. She's gonna take me to the chamber. Uh, see what I can do. One thing still bothers me. The guard at the storage, Daryl. What was he doing at the time? Your guard was vigilant. He fought bravely, but the poisoner knocked him out. You ask me? He deserves a raise. Good old dependable Daryl. I hope he's okay. I'll see he gets his due. Goodbye, Charlie. Don't call me Charlie. I know where your university is. I've found what looks suspiciously like a dungeon in the basement of your fish store. It's a BDSM dungeon. Explain. Excuse me? You found what? A dungeon. Chains, shackles, and blood. Ring any bells? Oh, I have no idea what you're talking about, but it sounds awful. We, we only started renting the place a few weeks ago. Oh, goodness. I'm going to have to ask our landlord several uncomfortable questions, it seems. Thanks for the heads up, Charlie. Now, refresh my memory. Where's, uh, where's the university here? I know it very well. Here, give me your map and I'll show you. You were a student there, I take it. Yes, that's right. I earned my degree there a while ago. Are you surprised? I just wasn't expecting to see a college graduate working here is all. I never had the opportunity myself. Could say I'm a bit jealous. <laughs> You'll find that here in Oakmont, a woman can achieve much more than on the mainland. Our university has always accepted women with open arms. See you later. I'll be going to college myself once I'm done with the Navy. Okay, so. Take a look at a map. City Hall. University Library. Let's see, all this right here is the 
University. So I will let I'll get back to you once I'm there. See ya. There we go. Now the infested area. Now I do remember this part in the game. I think the thing I messed up is I was trying to research the flask where it came from because it's what you have to do but I was at the university library not the actual library itself I mean I felt so so dumb once I actually made the connection so around this corner we should be right there after we go up the stairs because every good university needs to be elevated that way they feel above the common man Head on inside. Nope. Won't budge. Never mind. Oh. Let's go ahead and get this shortcut while we're here. Thank you. Okay, so are you trying to tell me that this is not the library? Or not the university? No, I'm at I'm at church. Well, I guess I'm a big dummy dumb. Did you um, I guess I'll head a little bit closer to the library. But she said she was going to mark it on Is it in my casebook? Oh wait, it's over here. I'm okay. See, this is the thing that I now remember made me mad. Why is the university library so far from the university? Like, what's that about? All right, since so I need you to check out this book for your reading assignment. Oh, where's the library again? Oh, it's about two miles east. Yeah, have fun. We don't drive cars here, so you gotta get walking. All right. Welcome to to the University of Oakmont. <laughs> How can I, I hate help this you? mustache? Might as well have nothing if you're just gonna grow that. I'm looking for Professor Westerbrook. You know where I can find him. <laughs> you, you, you're the one bringing in this <laughs> specimen. Oh, excuse me. Specimen. Oh, oh n never mind. Uh, he, he's in the de Department of Medicine. Let, let, let me show you. You recognize this bottle? You know where it comes from? It, 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 sorry. <laughs> we have hundreds of bottles like this in the university. Uh, fine. I need to know what's in it. Any suggestions? Ah, uh, you need an, an analysis. Well, I'm sure someone from the Department of Medicine c c can help there. You have a good day. G goodbye, sir. Something I can help you with, sir? What? Excuse me? Something I can help you with, sir? Were you, like, faking the stutter? Something I can help you with, sir? <sighs> wow, man, you... You fixed that up real fast, didn't you? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, that threw me off. Oh god, I was about to say, oh man, Reed doesn't want to deal with your stuttering self. He fixed it up real fast once he actually didn't have a camera nice and close to him. Damn, newcomers. I'm sorry, what? He's cursed. You really want to talk smack about me being a newcomer when you're wearing that outfit? I need to do a little self-assessment there, my pa my friend. Here we go. Hello, sir. Welcome to Old Mountain University Department of Medicine. I'm Samuel. Uh, Charles Reed, private investigator. 
saying this while wearing the outfit. You recognize this bottle? Maybe you could tell me what's inside. Hmm. That's one of our lab bottles. We have a lot of them. As for what's inside, I'd need to run some tests. Yeah, could you do that for me? These tests aren't cheap. And the other day I could get right to it, but we're uh, somewhat hindered right now. What's up? Our lab is crawling with, well, creatures. Professor Westerbrook's research is a little unconventional. And something went wrong. Really wrong. So, if I do a little pest control for you, you'll run those tests for me. For free? Our budget is tight. You'd be helping the cause of science, Mr. Reed. Isn't that enough? No. Oh, I guess science could help itself. All right. Yes. You solve all problem, and I'll run the test for you. Off the books. Here's the key for the basement. <laughs> like, come on, man. Everyone's current and past members, as well as exposing their beliefs, is forbidden on grounds of dismissal or expulsion. The administration has received numerous reports of EOD activity and outreach disguised as so called charity work throughout our university and all over Oakmont. The dangerous activity has reached epidemic proportions and cannot be tolerated. EOD is banned. Okay, I'm gonna chop a save just in case I get my. I get rocked down there. The door won't budge. All right, not there. Here we go. You a big boy. I'm glad this thing is dead. Why do they even keep it here? How's it not turning to mush? March 10th, with those pesky limitations removed, I can finally continue my experiments unhindered. I need to know more. The specimens remained alive, even re with half of its internal organs removed. It's fascinating. I'm on the verge of a breakthrough in biology as we know it. 15th. I developed a way to reanimate the tissue, even in one that's been dead for weeks. This is monumental. The possibility of implications as this hint at something hidden, some trait present itself inside other creatures, and perhaps even ourselves. I knew I will need to find volunteers. Well, that's some uh, some reanimator stuff. Have you ever seen those movies? I have have not seen them myself, but uh, watched some reviews on the movies. What kind of person would even touch this? Not to mention dissect it. March second, I have finally received a living specimen. Sadly, it's only the smallest one. The grunts call it Mr. Handsome, by Fanny is a proper name. I was thinking about the name for a special all night. I began a sort of series of experiments on the creature. So far, it has proven exceptional resistant to all the poison substances at my disposal, as well as acid and electrocution. It's shrieking, though, it's bound to haunt me. Last night, I had a vision. Thousands of hands wrapped around me as a blanket, and I have the name inside my head. Sigian Harvester. Yeah. Some serious equipment they've got here. Oakmont University is clearly well funded. Yeah, resistant to acid and electricity, but weak to shovel and gun. I wonder what would happen if I press this button. Should I or shouldn't I? So very tempting. <laughs> uh, hey! I don't know if you can see it, but it called, the trophy is called a reanimator. Oh no. I probably should not have done that. Oh, that one didn't bother you? Well, at least I got the trophy. But no, that was rather funny. Like, I am... I go from talking about the movie to immediately getting a trophy by the same name. They knew what they were doing. Either that or just... I was picking up the reference they were explicitly trying to make. Oh, it reached me. You know, I am curious because the point of th that little mission was to get rid of the little guys. 
I wonder if I can still, like, conclude it, even though I woke that thing up. Welcome to the Department of Medicine. I guess not. Alright, gotta clean up my mess. Alright, can I find any alcohol or anything so I can make something to heal with? Oh! Okay, now hopefully I can take at least one hit if things don't go too great. Hey, buddy. what's keeping this game from falling apart. It has a lot of technical issues. Wait, does he have the poggers face? Okay, you know what? Can't even complain. Oh, there was a first aid kit right there. <laughs> Watch me go back, he's like, oh, so that's what that button does. Brains in jars, that's... I think that was also in Reanimator. Your lab is certified creature free. Excellent, Mr. Reed. You've done us a great favor. Now we can get things up and running again. Your lab was, uh, interesting. Running experiments on those creatures. What's up with that? Oh, they're fascinating, aren't they? Convincing evidence of new branches in the evolutionary tree. <laughs> can you blame us for taking an interest? Yes. Maybe not. But so much dead flesh down there, that's going to attract scavengers. Didn't you think about that? Uh, hmm. Yeah, well, no. <laughs> well, be more careful in the future. Your point's taken. Okay. I've done my part. Here's the bottle. Now you run those tests. Uh, yes. Wait here. It shouldn't take long. Does, it's not going to take long, but you are going to charge me for it. We finished that analysis, sir. It's, well, it's ricin. Ricin? A highly toxic poison extracted from castor beans. It's slow-acting, but absolutely fatal to humans. So, where do you get ricin? This isn't something you can pick up from a drugstore. Ah, uh, about that. It is rare, but we have a certain amount of it here. For study in our poison store or we did I'm afraid that must be where it came from the label had been tampered with but it certainly looks like ours where did you find it ah, crime scene someone was trying to poison a bunch of fish with it this is horrible I need to warn everyone in the university about this who's got access to where the poison's stored only professor Westerbrook has the key 
His office is upstairs, right alongside Professor Cavendish's. Professor Westerbrook's not here, though. He's been sick for the last few days. Professor Cavendish is away as well, on vacation. Where do they live? I'm not sure, but probably somewhere in Advent. Most of the teaching staff live there. Wait, you don't think it was one of them? I'm working on that. Can you let me upstairs? I... well... All right. This is serious. I'll help you. Here's the key, but please don't disturb the professor's things. I'd like to know a bit more about your professors. What do you want to know? I want to know more about Westerbrook. He's the head of our department. He's been here for, well, at least 30 years. He's one of the longest serving staff we have. As you've already seen, he's particularly interested in the wild beasts that recently appeared in our city. Yeah, that's quite the unique fauna you have there. I've no idea how he did it, but Mr. Throgmorton's men brought him live specimens for his research. He thinks he's on the verge of a breakthrough in evolutionary theory. A secret that once revealed will benefit all humankind. <sighs> Some secret should stay buried. Six feet under. You're... Not a man of science, are you? It's not about why. It's about what if. What can you tell me about Professor Cavendish? He's one of the most brilliant teachers we have here. A PhD at only 25. Just imagine. His biochemistry studies are second to none. Worthy of a Nobel Prize. If he could complete his work. What's his problem? I don't know. There's some kind of family trouble. It's made him standoffish and irritable, and easily distracted. I hope he gets through whatever he's going through. We need his talent, especially in these dark times. I'll see you later. Alright, let's go upstairs. This is absurd. I spent five months and I still haven't finished repairing my office. I'm done sitting in the corridor like some kind of waiter. I won't step foot into the building again until the work is are finished or you give me Cavendish's office. I'll tell that to the board. I'm through with this forest. I guess he's still in it. <sighs> the door won't budge. It does now. These bottles look exactly the same as the one with the poison. Yeah, because they say ricin on them. These bottles look exactly the same as the one with the poison. Literally point me where to go. Head. Brothers and sisters, too familiar, my fellow Americans, they are Americans too, citizens of Oakmont. How much longer will we put up with those fish face bastards? Those so those sea freaks, how much longer will we put up with this? Those K for second generous who call themselves the EOD. Mm. Uh, Mr. Cavendish, why? Over to the mine palace. Okay, neither of those. Can you fill me in on rice? Of course. How can you tell if someone's been poisoned with ricin? The symptoms take several days to develop. At first, it's like a common cold. But over several days, well, it develops into hemorrhage, internal organ failure, and death. It's not a pleasant way to die. There's some kind of cure for ricin? I'm afraid not. Once it's in your system, it's a death sentence. I'll see you later. Mm. Okay, so look at our casebook. book. 
somewhere in. Somewhere in Advent. Um, maybe I could find it at the library? Or... I'm not sure how they plan on telling us. Oh, Alright. Get rid of that. I guess I'll go explore Advent and I'll get back to you once I find him. So, see you there. So, I'm gonna check out the student library just to see if there's anything through here. And plus, you're about to get to meet this lady. Uh, hello? Hello. Welcome to Oakmont University Library. Joy Hayden, can I help? Uh, Charles Reed, private investigator. I need to see your book catalogs. Sure, over there. And that's it? No payment, no threatening, no favors in return? No, library public. Knowledge for everyone. Welcome. Well, that's music to my, uh, eyes. This city doesn't look like it has much need for books, except as fuel for fires. How come the library is in such good shape? Mr. Throgmorton. Funds. Keeps everything in check. Really? Huh. I wouldn't have thought that of him. I wonder why. He says people need hope. Entertainment. Escapism. Now more than ever. Can't imagine library without his help. I apologize for my bluntness, but... Punishment. Long story. Again, sorry for me being so direct, but... That can't be legal, can it? This looks like... It looks like torture. Legal in Oakmont. Local custom. Huh. Bye, Joy. So, yeah, that's a thing. Also, bad timing that my recording ended right there. Had to start a fresh one. Okay, maybe not anything here yet, but I do know I have to come back here for something or another. Oh wait, maybe I can go to City Hall and find out the address there. George Cavendish, Oakmont Massachusetts, uh, Advent Central. Okay, so we got that. Let's find it on the map. Uh, St. Michael's between Carpenter and Constitution. Flat two. Okay, so it's somewhere here, right? Uh, carpenter and Constitution. Alright, so I'll go find the house and I'll see you when I'm there. Right. Okay, so I have found the location. If you want it, take it. It's free. Oh, that's sad. That's really sad right there. Oh man, that's like... What, two cents horror story? Mm. Felt that one. And judging by the layer of dust on it, this ring hasn't been worn in a long time. And why keep it around? Oh yeah, I think I think maybe his wife went up with a fish person. Westbrook usually has lunch about half past two, get some soap, and always stays at the fish market. She wouldn't learn about me. New hauls of fish arrive every two days. One an ounce per box will be enough. Guards spend some time on the second floor there at night. Think about a way to divert suspicions from Westbrook. Don't want him to come to any harm. Don't forget to return to Flash to storage. Think about plan B. Okay, so I guess Anna was his wife, and she's probably hooking up with the fish, or just she's too busy. 
Going, going, gone. Body count rises, vanishing. Locals are in panic with muscle reporting a disappearance occurring in the shells. Captain Caleb Lyons of the Oakland Police put a call for information. Arvin suggests a link between disappearances and a charity organization ill deed has recently arisen. Chronicle reminds Boyd any suspicion. Okay. Anything else? Single plate, that's telling. Can't carry more of those. Can I now? Oh, it's it's shotgun. <laughs> the door won't budge. Must be her stuff. I loved you. I always loved you. Hmm. A lot of fancy dresses locked away in a dark corner for a long time. I'm starting to smell some deep family trauma here. Anything more? Different shells as fighting breaks up between locals. Oh, come on. Yep. This Cavendish guy did an impressive investigation, and the EOD is in the center of all of it. George? I can't live like this anymore. There's something I have to tell you. It's her ring. I don't care what your damn EOD cult demands, Anna! Mm. I thought the child was mine. Mine! <laughs> yeah, so she's in the cult, and she got pregnant with one of their kids. You will never understand our cause! My child is blessed by the sea! I'm leaving you, George. Okay. Mm. Let's see what we have here. George Cavendish. He had a wife named Anna. She had a baby that was not his, but blessed by the sea and claimed by the EOD. And this caused their split. Mm. That must have been the man that slept with Anna. Who? Who are you? Well, what are you doing here? Calm down. <laughs> name's Charles Reed. I'd be freaked out of the plague doctor in my house too. Right now, you look like someone who's breaking into my house. A, a, a burglar. I, explain yourself. No, Cavendish. Time for you to do some explaining. Care to tell me why you poisoned the fish at the EOD warehouse? And you better not lie to me. Oh, sorry. Is this making you angry? <laughs> yeah, two can play at that game, and believe me, I've got plenty of anger for the both of us. How dare you? I'm only going to ask politely once. Then my gun will do the talking. Fine. Fine. Yes, it was me. But I had a good reason to do it. It all comes back to Anna. What's Anna got to do with all this? As you might have already gleaned, she is... was... my wife. Uh-huh. Yeah, it all starts to come together now. The EOD robbed me of her. It all started with the free fish. We were all short on food at the time, and then they hooked her with their nonsense about the benevolent sea and greater good. I looked past it for some time, but then... She became pregnant. Yes. At first, I was over the moon. But then one day she came to me, the snake, and told me that the child was not mine. 
She said it was blessed by the sea. That it was demanded by the EOD. Doom take them! I couldn't stand it. I just couldn't. Oh, this should be fun. What's your good reason for poisoning innocent people? You know the EOD are feeding the hungry, don't you? No. That's exactly the problem. They're not doing it out of charity. They do it to spread their influence and recruit new members. Some of those initiates, as they call them, vanish without a trace. And not just them. They kidnap ordinary folks, too. And poisoning the fish would prevent this how? Oh, you see, not everyone in this city believes in the EOD yet. They have opposition among the citizens, both rich and poor. A rumor of the EOD's fish being poisonous and several incidents would be enough to undermine the EOD by sparking fear and mistrust. There must be another way to deal with the EOD. Like, if their crimes are that obvious, why don't you just go to the police? <sighs> They're resourceful, those sons of hagfish. They maintain a squeaky clean image and Kay, they're good at it. I tried going to the police. They were no help at all. And I'm not suicidal enough to make it public and take them to court. What did she mean, blessed by the sea? What do you think is the cause of Innsmouth Syndrome in people? Uh, living in Innsmouth? That Kay-forsaken place has nothing to do with it. It comes from breeding with monsters. These sea creatures they call Deep Ones. They take our women and they spoil them with their seed. Then they give birth to degenerate fish-faced offspring. Where did you learn all this? This information about the EOD? After Anna left, I had nothing. But I did have a lot of time to research Innsmouthers, the EOD, and the story behind them. It is an old and powerful organization. They appeared back in the mid-19th century in Innsmouth, and the first people with the Innsmouth Syndrome started showing up around that same time. The story uh, of Dagon. Perhaps not coincidentally. No, uh, of course not. And the EOD is immensely rich. The sudden rise to power of the Blackwood family happened right after they joined them. So what's your next move? I... was interrupted and couldn't finish my task. The EOD received a fresh haul of fish, but now they're on alert and raised their guard. I understand I'm in no position to ask. But after reviewing all the facts I've presented to you, Mr. Reed, would you agree to help me? Keep talking. Now what is it you want from me? Poison the rest of the fish. It's spreading, but it's not enough. The EOD trusts you enough to deal with me, so it should be simple for you. My agent inside the EOD reports that they've just received a fresh haul. That's your target. Your agent inside the EOD. Is he fairly high up the ranks? I see where this is going. You need something from the EOD, too. Yeah. I'm trying to find a certain person who may be held by them. My, my agent can arrange that. If someone is being held by the EOD, he'll know it. It's a win-win situation. All right. Look, I'm gonna need to think about this. Uh, of course. But don't be too long. I'm going to need an answer before I let you go. I hope you can understand why. Okay. Drop a save. Okay. I think I'm gonna end the episode right here. Just because I well I kinda wanna know what, what do y'all want? Do you want me to go along with the story of the man who was cucked by a fish monster and help him poison the rest? Or do you want me to put him down for what he did? Let me know. Till next episode. Steampunk out.